Dolly 3 begins rolling out, so you don't have to feel so empty inside. Dolly 3 understands significantly more nuance and detail than our previous systems, allowing you to easily translate your ideas into exceptionally accurate image. The really cool thing here is that it will be embedded with ChatGPT, and ChatGPT will help you find the right prompts to really unleash your creativity and find the exact right prompt to create the vision you're looking for. One reason why this is kind of important is a recent paper from Harvard showed that these AI models tend to build 3D representations of the world. Even though they're trained on 2D images, they almost kind of begin to see the world in 3D. So as this begins rolling out, just keep this in mind that right now it seems like these models tend to produce a 3D mock-up of the world before painting it and then producing the image. But right now, Dolly 3 is in research preview and will be available to ChatGPT Plus and enterprise customers in October via API and in labs later this fall. And they're saying that Dolly will be great at generating images that exactly adhere to the text you provide. So for example, in this image, the sidewalk is bustling with pedestrians enjoying the nightlife. A bustling city under the shine of a full moon. At a corner stall, a young woman with a fiery red hair dressed in a signature velvet cloak is haggling with the grumpy old vendor. The grumpy vendor, a tall, sophisticated man, is wearing a sharp suit, sparks a noteworthy mustache, and is animatedly conversing on his steampunk telephone. You can still kind of tell this is AR just because of some of this nonsense that's happening in the background. You can say that some of the shadows are a little bit off. But overall, I got to say, if you can put in all these little details into this image and then it does produce it, that would be certainly a pretty big leap forward. Here's the change between Dolly 2 and Dolly 3. So the prompt was an expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking depicted as an explosion of a nebula. Certainly there's a lot more detail. It's much more obvious that these are, this is kind of a space theme with nebulas and planets and stars and etc. So definitely a move forward. And Dolly 3 is built natively on ChatGPT, which lets you use ChatGPT as a brainstorming partner and refiner of your prompts. Just ask ChatGPT what you want to see in anything from a simple sentence to a detailed paragraph. Now, recently we've been seeing that these LM models can be really good at optimizing prompts. As long as you can kind of like explain your idea, you can take it from there and try multiple prompts to try to create your vision, whether that's text or images. So this could potentially be a lot more powerful than it seems. When prompted with an idea, ChatGPT will automatically generate tailored detailed prompts for Dolly 3 that bring your idea to life. Also, if a particular image is not quite right, you can ask ChatGPT to make tweaks with, to it in just a few words. Here's an image of what that might look like. My five-year-old keeps talking about a super duper sunflower hedgehog. A super duper sunflower hedgehog. What does that look like? The characters notice the characters are consistent from scene to scene. And that makes a story about Larry the hedgehog. And now we can all have stickers. Yay. Larry the super duper hedgehog. By the way, by the way, OpenAI specifically explains what copyrights and protections they're going to have on these images. So if you're planning to use this to create commercial images, OpenAI does a really good job explaining exactly how you can use that. And so here they say a focus on safety. And some people have criticized this. Eliza Yukoski as one of them, maybe censoring certain requests that might be inappropriate. It shouldn't be called AI safety. It shouldn't be called safety, right? If we're talking about car safety, we're not talking about it the stereo not playing violent music, for example, we're talking about physical safety of being in the car, etc. And also that Dali is designed to decline requests for an image in the style of a living artist, which is interesting because in Mid Journey, that's the way you get some really good uh, images is you say, make this in the style of this particular artist. It's a really good job of capturing that. Yeah, notice how here, this is the light source. Notice how well the shadows are done. Some of this would be pretty hard to do without some sort of a 3D representation of this environment with the light source being here and this thing kind of like blocking some of the light. Same thing here. You can see that the shadows are kind of missing right here, but it's it does a really good job of understanding how light would shine in and how objects would interact with it. Here's a quick note from Dr. Jim Fant. I think Dolly 3 is not just a stance against mid-journey. It's actually a sneak peek of the epic battle of massively multimodal LLMs against DeepMind Gemini. Dolly 3 is built natively on ChatGPT. That is key. Dolly 3 extraordinary language alignment is built on solid textual GPT foundation. Mid-journey doesn't really have that reasoning brain behind it, which is why so much prompt hacking is needed. Brain first, pixel second. That's the way to build strong multimodal AI. If you haven't heard, DeepMind Gemini should be coming out pretty soon. And I think a lot of these efforts by OpenAI is to kind of preemptively get ready to beat Gemini as soon as it comes out, to just be able to throw more and better things out there to kind of make sure that Gemini is kind of dead on arrival. 
Whatever happens, the AI race is accelerating. Looks like they've been uh, posting a lot of their pictures on Instagram. So if you want to kind of check out what it's capable of, I think the, these have some of the images that are that haven't yet been posted anywhere else. The other interesting thing is apparently it's pretty good at writing now. So if one of the things, for example, you wanted some sort of a joke or a wordplay in there, it will attempt to do it. Now, it looks like it's not perfect, but it's getting a lot better. And here it says that these are not cherry picked, that this is kind of like what it's outputting. New year, new me. I, I, what does this even mean? Are you the snail? Are you the leopard? What, what, what's my takeaway message here? But either way, it's great. Exercise. And before I forget, the images you create of Dali are yours to use, and you don't need our permission to reprint, sell, or merchandise them. This is pretty important. I gotta say, I think I will miss Midjourney. The ability to generate images kind of with a group of people in Discord has been fun. I think that was a great idea. You can see everybody's prompts and what they're doing. Really enjoyed seeing this uh, community feed that Midjourney has. It feels like you're building in public and you're sharing your images. And uh, this was like one of my favorite parts of Midjourney. But I am looking forward to seeing what ChatGPT plus Dali can do. Let's go.